we're going to talk about how to apply permethrin spray for mites and lice on, on your chickens. And this is one of our Olivegar hunts, a different one that I'm using in the other video with the powder. But I'm going to show you how to apply spray. And I like to switch out what I'm using on my chickens. And sometimes I will dust, but in the summertime when it's warm enough, it's a lot easier, I feel, to spray them. So I will use this permethrin spray that I get at Tractor Supply. You can get it at your feed store. <clears throat> and it has the dilution rates inside the pamphlet that comes with it on the label so that you know how to dilute it properly to use it on the bird. And I just mix some up and put it in a nice spray bottle. And I will use it this way on the hen. It's nice if you have two people, but the great thing about the spray is you can do it with just one person. And um, I like to do it at night when they're on the roost and I can just kind of go down the roost while they're sitting there in the dark and very cooperative and treat each one of my birds. But if I have a helper, it's even better. And what you need to do with the spray is you need to get through all those feathers and find their vent, which is where the mites and lice will congregate if you have them. And just take a couple sprays. Oops. Usually I would have two hands to do this. But you're going to want to part those feathers and spray around their vent well. <clears throat> and then spray under each one of their wings with a spray. Don't want to get it obviously on the hen's head or where they're breathing. Kind of make sure that you're getting that spray down to their skin. And that really should be it. You can also do a little bit around their neck is a good place to do it as well. Again, just don't get it in their face or their eyes or their nose. And what you want to do is check them or reapply that in about five to seven days. That's the life cycle of those nasty bugs. And after that, just check them every couple of weeks to make sure that they haven't come back. So spraying is definitely my favorite way in the warmer months, but dusting is also very effective. And what you want to do is also switch out what you're using so that you don't run into a resistance problem with your mites and your lice. Thanks for watching.